In this video, you will learn how to insert and format table in Microsoft Word. Currently, you can see here I have inserted two types of tables and I have formatted these tables according to my requirement. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Firstly, you will learn how to insert table in Microsoft Word. Go to Insert tab and go to Table option. Here you will find different cells. Select number of cells. If you move from left to right, then Microsoft Word will insert that number of columns. Currently, I have selected five cells and Microsoft Word has inserted five columns. If you move downward direction, then it will insert rows. Currently, you can see here I have inserted five columns and four rows and these are visible on the top of that table. Click here. Now you can see here the table is inserted now. I will select this table. You can see here four arrow sign. Click on it and press backscape to delete this one. Now you will learn second method to insert table. Go to insert option. Again go to table option and instead of using this option I will use insert table option. Click on it. From here you can select number of columns and number of rows. I want to insert a table with five columns and five rows. I will write five. You can also use these arrows to increase or decrease the number of rows or columns. After that click on OK. Now you can see here Microsoft Word has inserted a table which contain five columns and five rows. Again. I will select the whole table by clicking on this four arrow sign and I will delete this one. Now you will learn third method. Click on insert and go to table option and here you will find the option of draw table. Click on it. Now you can insert any box here and you can draw the rows and columns according to your requirement. So you can use any of these method to insert table in Microsoft Word. I will deselect this one and select this one, press backscape. Now there are some templates are also available in Microsoft Word. You can also use those templates to save time. For example, if I go to insert option and here table option and if I go to quick tables option, there are plenty of options available for me. If I scroll down, then the templates regarding the tables of Microsoft Words are available here. You can select any one and change the value according to your requirement. For example, I am interested to insert a table like this one. I will select this one. Now you can see here Microsoft Word has inserted a table and you can edit it according to your requirement. For example, if I write it beta. Similarly, you can remove any entries. I will select this table and delete this one. Now you will learn how to format the table in Microsoft Word. Firstly, I will go to insert table. I will insert a table. I will write number 1, 2, 3, marks, bio marks, When you select this table, you can see here, here are two tabs. First one is the table design and second one is the table layout. In table design, you will find the option of table styles. Click on this down arrow sign and you will find different styles. You can select anyone according to your desire or according to your choice. 
for example i select this one now you can see here microsoft word has formatted according to this style similarly you can choose this style or this style now you will learn how to insert rows for example i am interested to insert a rows after row 1 for that purpose place your cursor at the corner and when this plus sign appear click on it now you can see here microsoft word has inserted a blank row and you can edit it according to your choice now you will learn how to delete the rows select this text or entire row right click and here you will find the option of delete cell click on it and from here i will select delete entire row select this one and click on ok and that row will be deleted that was the first method to insert row now i will explain second method to insert row select any text and i am interested to insert a row on below of that particular row where i have selected the text right click you will find the option of insert and here you will find the option of insert columns to the left insert column to the right insert row above insert row below i will select insert row below and microsoft word will insert a row below that particular text similarly if i want to insert a column i will select this one right click go to insert option and i am interested to insert a column on the right side so i will select this option you can see here microsoft word has inserted a columns on the right side of this text similarly as i explained in rows if you place the cursor on the corner of this you will find a plus sign if you click on this then microsoft word will insert a blank columns so you can use either of these methods now you will learn how to adjust the width of rows and columns if i place my cursor here right on the row you can see here a double arrow sign appeared i can move it in any direction to adjust the column width similarly if i want to move it in other direction i will do it you can also apply a similar method to adjust the row height place your cursor on the row line when double sided arrow appeared move it in upward direction or downward direction to adjust the row height now if you have exact value about the row height or the column width you can also use that one for example if i select this table and go to page layout option there is the option of row height and column width you can adjust it according to your requirement for example if i write 0.5 row height i will click here now you can see here the row height is adjusted according to our values similarly if i write 0.5 in column width and click on this table now you can see here the column width is adjusted according to our values so in this video you have learned different techniques to insert column and format it in next video you will learn some more advanced option to format the table according to your requirement that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye